She, Mrs. Lewis, and she did um, a patchy class club. No, she did a nasty in there be a teacher there. No, she did a shy. Did he? Did she? You really saw her shash? Did um, see her at all? Did a be a good gahilla? Be get good on, be yet gozlini, be yet. So, what I said is, How are you? How are things? I am Mrs. Lewis. And today I'm going to go ahead and sing one of the Christmas songs, and it's about our Savior being born. So it's going to be in Apache. The one I'm going to sing is going to be Away in the Manger. So here it goes. Da ten you tati yatsuske dohara. Too low. Da ten you tati yatsis get o hada. Art is a met Jesus be mother bolted. Tell some say a kaye nil e city. Art is a met Jesus in stego el hush. Magashi adi go met in a yensit. Arts is a met Jesus, do ha he chagda. Anchet in jo Jesus ya kaye des e. She dad in ego es kanji do let. So we, we did sing away in the manger. You know what that tinyu means? So way out there outside the tinyu. Okay? That way. You see my hands right about there. That tinyu. <laughs> like that. That tinyu means way outside somewhere. Okay? Tatiya uh, means um, poor at that time. You know, at that time. He wasn't born in a hospital. Huh? He was born outside in a manger. Okay, that was his crib, the manger. So that's what I sung about. It's um, first and second verse of uh, uh, Away in a Manger. Okay, so right now I'm going to continue to read the history of our, our own reservation being here with the uh, new missionaries at that time. Way early, early, before we were born, before mommies and daddies were born, okay? <clears throat> now, the last part I read to you about, about was that the graveyards on both reservations bear mute testimony to the ravages of illness, malnutrition, and accidents that could and often break the best. These points must be remembered and taken into consideration when we discuss the ministry among the Apaches during this centennial year. The men and women who left so much travel so far and gave so much were truly, truly pioneers. Even those who, for personal or physical reasons, left to return to more comfortable and familiar surroundings gave of their best they also must be judged only in the light of the facts prevalent. So it, it just says that they, they should be kind of um, rewarded, not being mad at them or anything, because they gave their best. Okay? <clears throat> they also, uh, let's see, in their own way, they contributed what they could. They may never be remembered as we remember the giants, but must they must be remembered fondly. When one considers all the obstacles the devil placed before our early efforts and our own inexperience, it is a wonder that any progress was made. God is great, huh? God is wonderful. Made that progress. Trial and error, blunders, experiment, work and pray. Above all, allow the Holy Spirit to be a partner. It all began to gel. Here's the progress the mistrust soon turned to the trust so necessary in this type of work. Remember, like, um, they, didn't, they didn't really um, believe any of the white people coming because 
so badly treated our people, our ancestors. Okay, so these white men truly came to help. These men with a great book, the Bible, came to give, not take a newfound friendship developed based upon trust. On this foundation, a mission could be begun. A church could be built. And then, on the other hand, it would be impossible to move ahead as one would back, would back in the Midwest. Improvise was the word. Necessity dictated. The tried and true just would not work in the territory of Arizona on the St. Carlos and Fort Apache White Mountain Reservations. This being called upon to improvise came as quick as a, sh a, as quick a shock to the born, reared and educated in the upper Midwest missionary to the Apache, and yet they came through. So whoever came at that time, the Holy Spirit worked in them. The devil did not, could not win. God always wins. So there were churches built, right? Oh, Harders built a church with liner boards from railroad box cars and mine timber scraps. Carl Genther salvaged, salvaged tuf tufa stone from buildings demolished at Old St. Carlos to build a new school building to replace the mud building. Apache men and women assisted in building a small church at Lower Sibiku. You know when that was? 1911. Wow. This building, still standing, was constructed of mud, bricks, and grass mixed on the site. E. Edgar Genther, following orders to start a school, constructed desks and benches from scrap lumber, while his wife Minnie typed out lessons and textbooks on an old Oliver typewriter. Dresser drawers and dried Fruit boxes served as cribs for little orphans in one room of the Genther's 30 by 30 four room house. When driving over the hot sand on the way to Fort Huachuca, Reverend Genther cut the bead off of all tires and slipped the carcass over the tires on his Model T to prevent blisters from forming on the tires. The list goes on and on. They went through a lot of things to correct everything. And it worked. But you say, what has this to do with the missionary ministry among the Apaches? Frankly, if these hardy men and women could or could not or would not improvise, the many aspects of the work would have stalled, slowed down, or even stopped. So they had to work on what could um, better situations too. Not, you know, there's missionary work, but then things got to work for, for that to take place, right? Remember, even the necessities ordered from Montgomery Ward in Kansas could take three weeks to get to Holbrook by train and Fort Apache by Army Freight Wagon. Okay, boys and girls, this ability to make do carried over into camp calls, Bible classes, and sick calls. Which of you gentlemen listening to this paper have been called upon to visit a sick member? Only after catching skunks and rendering the oil, having the wife tear up anything flannel, obtaining cans of Epsom salts and rolls of tar paper. After packing these items on a pack horse, riding out in the chilly air of winter morning to give those sick with the flu a dose of Epsom salts, two sheets of tar paper for under the pallet, a poultice of of skunk oil on the chest and a wrapping of flannel. These, this expression of love and the ability to help in the face of tragedy did much to help the bodies and spirits of the Apaches. Good public relations, to say the least. Now I'll stop with this one right here. And let's go over, um, I, I should have showed you the words, huh? <laughs> but next time when we do this again for next week, I'll make sure I have that. It's away in a manger in Apache. Maybe you can say the words with me. Say da tin yu ta ti ya, da tin yu ta ti ya, tsiske do hua da, tsiske do hua da. Ashtse met Jesus, ashtse met Jesus, 
Be mad about tell. Be mad about tell. Sell soon say ya cut yet. Sell soon say ya cut yet. Nell e sit tease it. Nell e sit tease it. As the same met Jesus. As the same met Jesus. In stego is hush. Ready to sing at least that one verse? Ready? Da ten you tati yet is get o hada. As the same met Jesus be mada bortel. Tell so say a kaye nil e se tiji. As the same Jesus in stego is hush. Anna, Adi, did on Sheila, did on Adi, what does this one say again? Anna got zil. Anna got zil. That means see you again. Thank you for listening. Ahia, Ashun, thank you.